Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I'll describe the derivation of expression for the transfer function of cell and key filter. It's a long derivation, so be patient. So our aim is to get a double pole circuit and this can be done by cascading two single pole op-amp amplifiers but this is obviously not the best choice here is a better choice if you wish to improve upon the basic approach we should use silent key design so this is a silent key filter the silent key filter design is a second order active filter topology this topology can be used as a building block for implementing low pass filter high pass filter or band pass filter etc now in the figure we have shown a low pass cell and key filter now this is the given circuit and let's see what all uh, parameters are here this is the input voltage vi at node x we have voltage vx at this node here we have voltage vy and the output voltage is V0. Now we know that the voltages at both the inputs of an operational amplifier has to be same. So here at the negative terminal the voltage is Vy. Therefore at the positive terminal also the voltage should be Vy. So we put in a Vy here. Okay. And now we'll uh, try to find the relation between v out and v in that is the transfer function which is a ratio of v out divided by v in so we start from the non-inverting amplifier you can see this is the non-inverting amplifier and we know that the equation for non-inverting amplifier is given by v o is equal to 1 plus r a r b multiplied by the input voltage which is v i y in this case and from here we can conclude that the gain which we write g here the gain is this part so gain is equal to 1 plus r a r b which can also be written as r a plus r b divided by r b and now from here we'll find out v y so v y is just we divide v out by this and it will be as in the equation number 2 and we can further simplify if we replace rb ra rb by 1 over g because from here ra rb over rb is g so it, this one is 1 over g and therefore our second equation will become vy is equal to v naught over g so this is one of the important relations that uh, we will be using next we look at the this between the relation between vx and vy i have drawn it separately and instead of a capacitor now i have used a 1 over 2 cs uh, as we do in the s domain circuits and so vy can be written as or can be found by the voltage division of this so vx divided by these two parameters vx divided by r2 plus 1 over c2x and multiplied by 1 over c2x will give us vy simplifying we can write it like this and further simplifying we can write that vx is 1 plus r2 c2x vy so this is the third relation that we get and now uh, we will be writing the nodal equation at node x so if you see here at node x there are three currents all leaving the node so current entering is zero and the sum of the three currents is written here now let's analyze the first one this one vx minus vi divided by r1 so vx minus vi divided by r1 the one on the right is Vx minus Vy divided by R2. So Vx minus Vy divided by R2 
and the third one is Vx minus V0 divided by 1 over SC1. If we write it in the S domain, so it is 1 over SC1. So th these are the three equations that we'll be using to find a relation which would be something similar to this. This is the transfer function desired. Okay, so we had this, uh, these three equations. Now what we'll do is that we'll plug in the value of Vx from here and also we'll plug in the value of Vy and let's now see. So Vx, this term we have written instead of Vx minus Vy divided by R1. Similarly, Vx minus Vy divided by R2 and also in the third Vx minus V0 divided by 1 over SC. So we have plugged in the value of Vx from here in all the three. Next step we just separate the terms. So this has two, two from here and two from here. Now putting in the value of Vy from equation number three. So from three if we put in Vy or replace Vy, Vy you know is V naught over G, so we get this relation V naught over G here no change here v naught over g here v naught over g here v naught over g here in the next step we take v naught common from all of it so 1 plus r2 cs over gr1 this will take towards the right hand side because this does not have v1 uh, sorry v naught then from here we can take v naught common from here we take v naught common and from these two also okay so we were here and now let's see it further so what we have done we have taken g common so we take g out so here we'll have r1 r2 R2 1 over SC1 says there was no G here therefore this will be G divided by G so 1 over G SC1 and now we'll open these terms individually so this will have these two terms this will have these two terms this term 2 for here and this term and now we can cancel 1 over R2 plus and 1 over R2 minus. And so this is what is left now. And we are just manipulating 1 over SC now goes up, so it becomes SC1. This R2, R2 gets cancelled, so C to S. 1 over uh, SC1, SC goes up, so it becomes like this, and same here, GSC goes up. And from here, we take R1 as the LCM, R1 LCM, so we get these terms, 1 from here, R2C2S, this will be multiplied by R1, multiplied by R1, multiplied by R1, and multiplied by R1. And now we cancel R1 from both sides. So we get this term. So we were here. And now we arrange it uh, with the power of S. So first of all S square term. this becomes S square so S square R1 R2 C1 C2 from here we take S common from all these 1 2 3 and 4 and this one left here from here 
we can take R1 C1 common so this portion will give R1 C1 1 minus G and the others remain as it is and now we bring VI on the left hand side and we take G to the right hand side so this will be the right hand side will be G divided by this term and from here we can write V0 over V1 as equal to G we divide everything by R1 R2 C1 C2 so G divided by R1 R2 C1 C2 this will be now S square similarly this divided by uh, R1 R2 C1 C2 so the first one here will uh, here will have R1 C1 left from this we will have R2 C1 left and from this we will have R2 C2 all multiplied by S and this one will be divided by R1 R2 C1 C2. So this is uh, the form that we want this is valid uh, or this is the final answer but we can proceed further if we assume that R1 is equal to R2 is equal to R and similarly C1 is equal to C2 is equal to C therefore this further simplifies to as shown here so this is what we got when we uh, took R1 R2 equal to R and C1 C2 equal to C and this could be further simplified if we just add all these terms so it will be 3 minus G over RC so this is a further simplified form and now if you compare with the uh, general transfer function of low pass filter of nth order this is the uh, uh, general transfer function so we can compare both and by comparing we see that this G is equal to K 1 over R square C square either from here or from here is equal to A naught and whatever is multiplied with S is A1 so this so these are the three terms that we can now further simplify plugging in the values so this is a more simplified version of the transfer function and we take help of a table for the coefficient for low pass Butterworth or Savisher filter uh, to get the values of the coefficients. So for order 2 we have this our filter, filter is second order filter. So for order 2 A0 will be equal to 1 so for here we can write 1 and A1 will be 1.4142 so here we can write 1. 0.4142 so this is our final answer and we can uh, solve problems by taking this transfer function uh, which is a second order um, filter or Savishad filter or Butterworth filter or Saren Kelly filter so I hope this gives you an understanding how did we arrive at this point thank you